Alex Caulfield. I'm 18 years old. Years ago, my family moved away and I left behind my childhood. After five years, I'm back in my hometown, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Now I'm studying photography at Blackwell Academy, my new home. In the end, it's still high school, which kind of sucks. Then there's Chloe. Home, shit home. Let's dance, or take my picture with your new camera. Come on, rock out, girl. Then something happened. Something that changed my life forever. Whoa! No! I discovered I could reverse time. Well, hello there, and welcome to the fifth and final episode of Life is Strange. Um, I don't have that much to say, I guess, because I want to find out what will happen in this episode. Uh, but before I start, I... I just want to say that I was really surprised to see that uh, Mr. Jefferson drugged Max like he did. Um, I, I, I didn't see that coming. I think that I probably should have seen that coming bef because it had uh, it have probably been a lot of uh, clues as uh, to uh, Mr. Jefferson's uh, guilt in, in all of this that is happening. Uh, because it, it have been almost too obvious that Nathan uh, is, uh, is a psychotic... Um, guy uh, but it, it seems like well I, I don't know that it's <laughs> I, I can't say that it seems like but but he is probably more innocent than uh, what it what he appears to be uh, because well uh, I he did shoot Chloe in the beginning of the game so he got it in him to kill uh, but I think that he is pushed a lot by uh, mostly his dad but perhaps also by Mr. Jefferson uh, because there, there have been some clues as to uh, Nathan's dad uh, that he uh, he had some some shady <laughs> business going on and I I don't know that I, I don't know for a fact that Nathan's dad is uh, in this but I, I guess that he is uh, because he he wrote a letter to Nathan uh, or a mail or whatever it was speaking about uh, Nathan's legacy and something about uh, that uh, Nathan's grandfather uh, teached Nathan's father uh, or uh, well it, it was something in those lines that uh, that they have a legacy that uh, continues on in the family so I don't know if 
if this episode will will be really weird and that it turns out that they are some kind of monsters or vampires or something like that or if uh, if it is in their blood to kill uh, I, I think it, it is probably going somewhere in that direction I don't know why Mr. Jefferson is doing what he's doing though because he is a successful photographer and a, a very liked teacher uh, his students uh, really seem seems to like him and uh, they they look up to him uh, because of his career as a photographer um, so, so I really don't understand why Mr. Jefferson is doing what he is doing uh, on the other hand I don't understand why a businessman like Nathan's father and Nathan himself is uh, is doing whatever they are doing um, but I think that for whatever reason uh, Mr. Nathan is the one that is uh, mostly behind all this uh, and he he get help from uh, Nathan's uh, uh, not heritage but uh, Nathan's family um, I don't remember what their last name is though uh, I should remember I guess but I don't uh, I actually haven't played in about a week I have been editing um, uh, all the previous episodes, uh, or I, yeah, episodes, and uh, not not all of them though. I am I have recently started editing the fourth episode, um, and I have uploaded uh, quite a lot of episodes um, so far. Uh, I think I am on in the beginning of episode 3 now that I am uploading I haven't released any of the videos yet though but I will soon do that uh, I I just want to to finish the game before I uh, upload any of the episodes um, and I want to edit them uh, as as fast as I can uh, which is uh, uh, which is pretty uh, time consuming uh, because uh, well uh, it takes at least one hour to uh, edit one episode or uh, one part uh, and then uh, it takes uh, some time to to render and save the file as well and uh, not to mention the uploading takes several hours because of uh, the, the files are so big um, yeah that, that was a bit of technical stuff I guess um, which might not be that interesting to listen to uh, yeah uh, wh when I edit I notice that I am uh, saying um a lot which uh, is kinda disturbing for me to listen to so I hope that it isn't as disturbing for you as it is for me but it probably is so I will try to not say um uh, as much as I do but 
it is just one of those bad habits that that I have and when I when I speak I or before I speak I try to think uh, and since English isn't my what's it called well it, it isn't my first language so uh, it I, I kind of have to think a lot more when I speak English than what I have to do when I speak Swedish and to be honest I'm not that good at speaking Swedish either but I have talked just a little bit too long now I think because I kind of went uh, away from the subject that I that I meant to talk about which is the game and uh, I, I really like the game so it, it is while I am glad that I have reached the end of the game because it takes a lot of time and effort to both play and edit this game uh, so I am kinda glad in a way that I am uh, beginning to get near the end now because I have some other games that I want to play as well uh, but on the other hand I am pretty sad to to see that this is the last episode because when you play a game a lot uh, you you really get to know the characters uh, in a way that that uh, you um, you you are gonna miss them after the game is uh, finished uh, or after you have you are done playing the game then they are still in your thoughts uh, and that is uh, that that is uh, a good game that that can make you think about the characters after you are done playing the game so yeah I'm really gonna miss uh, Max after I have have played this game um, and I I am going to miss Chloe as well and I don't know what will happen to Chloe because she got shot in her head in uh, the previous episode so I, I, I am kind of worried that Chloe is dead but it is in in the meantime it is kind of weird or strange that she got shot and that she won't appear anymore in the game because the game is a lot about her as well as Max uh, and their friendship so yeah I I don't know what will happen because Max got drugged so she won't be able to rewind time in in quite a lot of time because uh, she she had been drugged and it seems like she can only rewind uh, a, a certain amount of time uh, perhaps like uh, a half an hour or an hour something like that uh, but if she is drugged then she is unconscious for for a longer time than that so it is I, I I don't see how she will be able to save Chloe from being shot in the head uh, unless she's going into a photograph again and gets into 
that moment when the photograph was taken and warn Chloe about the future or in this case the present uh, so yeah it is going to be interesting to see what will happen in in this final episode yeah as you can see the tornado have reached uh, Arcadia Bay it is out in the water so far but it will go into Arcadia Bay any moment now uh, because it is Friday and as we all know the tornado is going to strike uh, so I wonder what will happen with all the residents at Arcadia Bay especially uh, Kate I am worried about Kate and uh, Warren as well of course and uh, Alyssa and uh, um, Joyce and all those other characters that lives in Arcadia Bay so I of course I am worried about Max as well but I think that Mr. Jefferson have taken Max to that bunker that we saw in um, in uh, I think it was uh, the previous episode yeah it was in episode 4 I believe uh, so Max should be safe in that bunker uh, not safe but uh, safer uh, because of the tornado that is uh, getting near uh, but on the other hand she seems to have been captured by a psycho so yeah I am worried about what will happen in this fifth and final episode and I guess that is a reason why I am dragging this out as I do now but uh, yeah there there is no going back is there well in, in this game there there is uh, kinda such a thing as going back since uh, Max can rewind time but there is no going back for us there is only going forward so let's continue the game <laughs>